When imaging uh, specimens such as beetles, they may look fairly clean to the naked eye, but when you use the visionary digital imaging system, any kind of fibers, dirt, um, specimen will be in great detail and can be a little distracting. So specimens such as this beetle, we can clean without doing damage to them. Any specimen that's, say, very, very delicate or um, not appropriate to clean, don't clean. So here I have a beetle that's about 50 years old and one label is printed which should be fine. Ethanol won't make the ink run but the top label was handwritten so if I put it in the ethanol the label would run. So I'm just going to take the labels off and then I have a small pair of pliers and it has a ridged edge and when I clamp down on the pen with the pliers I, I don't like to do it perpendicularly like this because the pen can slide. If I clamp down diagonally the pen is much more stable and I'm much less likely to drop the pen with the specimen attached. So I have a capped jar of ethanol and I keep it cap so it doesn't evaporate and I can reuse it. So I'm just going to play, stick the specimen in the jar and then just slosh around a bit gently so no parts of the beetle break off and let it dry. You don't want to image it immediately after because it's all it's still wet, it's covered in the ethanol, and that could change how the image will look. What you can do to dry the specimen off uh, quicker is to use an air duster. I'm just going to gently and now the specimen can dry much quicker and if there was anything left on it's more likely it got blown off by the air duster. So that's the basics of cleaning a beetle specimen and remember keep in mind only do this for specimens that don't look too delicate.